So I have been totally freaking out about the sunroof glass. I am at a junkyard now, and I've been totally freaking out about it because I thought you're gonna have to take apart basically all this stuff up front here, literally take the whole headliner out and replace it as an assembly. But I just watched a video of a dude who shows how to do it and it takes like three seconds. So I undid those, the nuts off these studs. It's gonna come right out. I'm actually, I think I'm actually gonna be able to do this. Here is the glass right here. So there's that. There you can see the cracking. We are going to remove this trim piece, which is on either side. Now, you don't actually have to have it tilted because I managed to get it out without having it tilted at the junkyard. So that's not an absolute necessity if you are looking to get it out of a junkyard. All right, starting off, panel remover tool like so. I'm just gonna go ahead and get in between the glass here to try and gently pry these loose. a pretty nasty snap when coming out. Okay. That one may have broke. It's a little... okay. It's not uncommon for these very small things to come off of these tabs on panels like this, you can really just insert them and they'll be fine. Next, underneath these bolts, this long section is a shim. There's another shim under here. So these two have a longer shim in the rear and there's a short one in the front. It's probably pretty important that those go back, so just be aware of those. And then literally all you have are just these three bolts. On either side, it can be removed as a unit and we will no longer have cracked glass. A 10 millimeter is going to accomplish that for us. These are not very tight. Don't lose your nuts. So these shims are open so you can remove them now before you take it out. That way they don't end up in some strange place. That's gonna make it really easy for us because we're not going to have to get the shims in place before we put the glass on. Now, as you can see, it's actually two black shims on my, one black, one silver on my passenger side. At this point, you can see the sunroof is loose. So now we can go about removing the glass. All right, this could prove tricky. Oh, just kidding, that was really easy. Now, it is always good practice when doing anything to compare your parts. So look at your new part, look at your old part, and make sure everything is looking good before you go at it. And everything looks fine. The next thing I'm gonna do is clean it up a little bit. It's a bit dirty, and we want it to go in nice and clean. So, a glass cleaner um, are generally pretty good general purpose cleaners. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and wipe this side down and the other. And then we're going to go ahead and place it in. If you are going to use this as an opportunity to spray some grease or anything, keep in mind that you're dealing with an open portal into your interior and you don't want to spray your leather with grease. That would suck. Nothing crazy. And for the scary part, Too bad. All right, now we have nice new uncracked glass, so that's nice and easy. Now to install those shims, we can just push up on the glass a little bit and insert them. Next, just lightly tighten up the bolts. They really don't have to be super tight. They were not all that tight going on. And finally, the only thing left to do is pop your trim pieces in. There it goes. And 
and there it is. So let's go ahead and see if everything lines up and works properly. All right, now I get to enjoy this view instead of a cracked mess. And that is really all there is to it. It's not a very complicated job to do. You need very little tools. And I actually got the glass for $26. If you were to take that to a shop, buy a piece from Lexus or something like that, it would be insanely expensive. And even without popping this up, you can actually still get these off and take the nuts off. Works perfectly well, no issues. That's the tilt, rolls all the way back. And now I have been enjoying my sunroof, mainly at night though, because it's hot and bright. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this content, if it was informative and helpful. If not, let me know. Thanks for watching.